In this video, I have configured David Allen's GTD productivity system inside of this Notion template and enhanced it to user requirements of this decade. If you really value your time, then this is the template for you. When I started working on a GTD Notion template, I started with a really small challenge. Why can't I configure recurring tasks inside of Notion? As I started peeling the onion, I discovered people looking at solutions in silos. But the problems were interrelated and the requirement was a single solution. For example, each template addressed only one part of the problem, whether it's paying bills, creating a habit, creating a recurring task, managing projects, creating a birthday reminder, or managing your week. Many of the templates were workarounds with significant manual steps. So I went back to the drawing board and looked at things from scratch and I put up my objectives clearly. I like the David Allen GTD method and the Eisenhower prioritization matrix. So that will be the baseline. The user experience should really be simple. No formulas to write and minimum manual entries to manage tasks. Day-to-day -day reviewing and periodic reviews should be a breeze. No multiple databases, no relations, no rollups, and not cumbersome for the user at all. Let's go through the features. Even though this is a demo, I will merely be scratching the surface of this template and you will discover additional ways in which you can manage your routines, which I wouldn't have highlighted earlier. When we say GTD, we quickly refer to a solution to include calendars and tasks. Then the reality of Notion dawns. There are no recurring tasks, but with my solution, there is. Just to make it clear, I don't ask you to input any field that you wouldn't need to input in a dedicated app that's installed on your phone or on your laptop. Calendar items and tasks should appear within the calendar. So now they do. You check your calendar and task list as soon as you get onto the computer or to your office. Now you can with the alerts for today view in tables. The weekly view allows you to look at the tasks for the week in a board view by time slot. So you know what you have to do on your time slots. If you want to filter it to a specific day, you go to the day view. If you want to see the items in your month's calendar, then you just look at the calendar. Notice here that you can drag the item for an extra day, which is specifically useful if you're doing a daily activity or a habit or a multi-day activity. The calendar also shows you your habit progress status at a glance. And of course, the end date for that habit. Recurring tasks are daily, alternate day, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, and annual. They should be perpetual without trying to correct dates, even for leap years. Now you don't have to do that. Let's dive a little deeper into how much detail I went into. Say you subscribe to a gym membership that allows you to visit the gym every alternate day, but the membership doesn't start till this Thursday. The next due date is configured correctly to reflect that. If you have a music session signed up, for one class every month, even that is possible. Your son's birthday might be coming up on July 28th. The calendar will also keep a view of that in a nutshell. You can also go into the birthday view inside of the table view and see all the upcoming birthdays. One of the most crucial things you need to do in a month is bill payments. So there's a table view and a calendar view. You can even set up a reminder inside of bill payments for the next due date so that you don't miss it. By entering the last due date, you confirm having made the payment. Unlike my last recurring tasks formula, this one can be set with a later date and can be set for any date of any year. It doesn't have other columns to assist it, unlike my earlier solution. But this formula is massive and it just about comes to one screen of Notion on my monitor. The tasks view shows only the tasks for a specific period, which you can change. Let's talk about flags. You can have 10 tasks to do for the day, but if you don't accomplish one of those, then your day may lose the essence of being successful. That's what Gary Keller's book on the one thing deals with. 
for recurring tasks. For example, you don't want to miss out on critical dates, the dates to renew your car insurance or to make a credit card payment to keep your credit rating intact. Project tasks are crucial and it was essential for me to capture the project task and the name of the project so that later on you can filter this to the project when you want to review the items. The habit tracker is integrated right into the calendar and into the database table so that you can track your habits as part of your tasks. There were other challenges I needed to overcome. How do I block time or how do I manage to slot time into my calendar or even my tasks? That's where the time slot comes in handy. The day of the week is crucial when you're scheduling appointments based on dates and you lose track of the day. Sometimes you can't do an activity because you're not at your desk or in the office. This is where context comes in handy. There is one thing I wanted to specially add. This task manager also has a built-in space repetition system for study or for work. For example, if you want to progress reading a book, in my case, let's say eat, sleep, work and repeat, a book I'm reading from Bruce Daisley. I can do so in daily intervals till I complete the book. Once I complete, I can tick off the column activity complete and it will go away from the task. If everyone is thinking alike, then someone isn't thinking. There are a number of goodies that come along with the template. Take a look inside my description. There's a link down in the description below on how you can procure this template. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, do consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.